Take me back to when I found my Camera is this. This one. Good morning, Phoenix High School, and welcome to our first episode of PHT before the fourth quarter. I am Destin Bordon. And I'm Danon Johnson. We want to start off our show. <laughs> we want to start off our last quarter. That was. You got this, man. And I'm Danon Johnson. We want to start off our last quarter of the school year properly. So sit back and enjoy the show. This announcement is for all seniors. They are updating our records for graduation. Please see Myra Silva, office manager, to let her know who will walk you at graduation. Also, Jostens will be here on April 20th to deliver your cap and gown during lunchtime. If you have not already made graduation orders, time is running out. Go to Jostens.com to place your order now. Also for seniors, next Monday, April 24th, during advisory, all seniors will be taking their class group photo for all seniors of the class of 2017 together. Please dress appropriately and be here Monday, April 24th, seniors for the senior class photo during advisory. Speaking of important dates, we have a couple of important reminders about dates for this week. I made a quick segment to make sure that we're all on the same page. Let's roll it. Important dates this week. Thursday, April 20th. We have a full day of school this Thursday. Originally, it was a half day for conferences. This is not the case. Conferences will be held in advisory. No parent or guardians required. Friday, April 21st. Last day for schedule changes. What's that? Friday is the last day for schedule changes. Only with counselor approval. Everybody, remember your full school day this Thursday and talk to your counselor if you think you qualify for a schedule change. Another announcement for seniors, the deadline for submitting your baby pictures was Friday, April 7th, but we are still missing several. If you need to turn in your baby pictures, please see Mr. Rhodes. These will be used in the senior video at the senior assembly. Prom tickets are now available at the front office, and this is the last week to buy them. They will be sold for $20 at the front office and $25 at the door on the night of prom. Prom will be held this Saturday, April 22nd from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. and will be held at the Ashland Hills Hotel and Suites. Buy your tickets now at the front office. Speaking of tickets, hopefully you saw the teaser from the cast of In the Heights at the last assembly. If you enjoyed what you saw, and it sounded like you did, then you will love to see the entire show. The theater department will have a special offer just for PHS. Two tickets for the price of one on opening night only. Thursday, April 27th. I repeat, two student tickets for the price of one on opening night only, Thursday, April 27th. See you in the theater. Mr. Cornett would like to let you all know, AP exams are two weeks away. The first AC exam will be exactly two weeks on Monday, May 1st. Please prepare and be ready to rock the AP exams. Thank you, Mr. Cornett, for that reminder. Any students who entered the Sports Marketing Challenge for guessing the total runs in the month of April for baseball and softball combined with 12 games left, the total number of runs is 93.2. Two more weeks left until the challenge is up. Keep hitting away, baseball and softball. Something else for all of our students to prepare for is Carnival Thursdays. The Real Life for Life team will be having games, selling candy, or other yummy snacks as a fundraiser for our school team. You can still join the PHS Real Life for Life team also. We are meeting Tuesdays at lunch in Mrs. Green's room, so come join the fun. 
For those of you who are interested in running for ASB vice president, ASB position for the year of 2017-2018, applications for president, vice president, treasurer, and secretary are now available in the front office. Please complete the application and return it to the front office by Monday, April 24th. That is next Monday. So only one week left to get into ASB positions for the next school year. Ms. Pond in the Diploma Center is set up for students who are interested in earning a food handler's permit. The cost is $10 and you pay the front office in bringing your receipt to Ms. Pond in N105. Use the computer to do the online training for the Oregon Food Handlers card. This card can help you gain employment in the food service industry. Talk to Ms. Pond in N105 for more, for more questions. Casa McKeel is in the beginning stages for a senior project, which we will implement this summer in the countries of Lebanon and Egypt. The theme is soccer for Syrians. He is collecting boys and girls soccer materials, clothes, any sort of shoes, cleats, or clothing, or sporting items. He will take your donations to the Syrian refugees living in extreme poverty in Lebanon. He will also be taking the soccer balls and clothes to the boys' orphanage in Egypt, where he lived last year and played soccer with the boys. There is a box facing the attendance window where you can bring your donated items during April and May. Your small acts of kindness will bring a smile to the faces of those who suffer greatly. Please help Kaysom with his senior project and donate to Soccer for Syrians. Also, if you are by the attendance window, sign up for La Clinica. Are you in need of medical assistance but afraid it will cost too much? On Thursdays, La Clinica's bu medical bus will be on campus to help any students who need it for free. So meet, see Mr. Akil in the attendance office to schedule an appointment with La Clinica for this Thursday or any Thursday you need medical attention. Now let's turn our attention to some impressive students here at Phoenix High School who were acknowledged as Students of the Month. PHTV's own Albert Funes and Joshua Devon made a segment for the Students of the Month for the month of March. Let's check it out. Students of the Month for the month of March. Freshmen. Victoria Acosta. Andres Moreno. Sophomores. Marlene Pineda. Cade Beer. Juniors. Tiffany Lee, Kasim Akil, Seniors, Brittany Travis, Thomas Scott. Congrats to the Students of the Month. Congratulations to all students for the month of March. Speaking of awesome students, bravo to the PHS Chamber Choir for competing at the SOMEA District Choir Competition and did a smashing job. Great job, PHS Choir. Ms. Pond in the credit retrieval room will be opening up credit retrieval on Saturdays for students needing to get caught before the end of the year. Ms. Pond will be opening up credit retrieval from 9 a.m. until noon on these Saturdays, April 29th, May 6th, and May 13th. Please sign up with Ms. Pond if you are interested. Our lead custodian, Bill Evans, wants to remind all students to check out the lost and found table in the comments. At the end of this week, Anything left in the lost and found will be donated to charity. Please check the lost and found this week. Ms. Pung will be selling water bottles for 75 cents to raise money for our sparrow, Fabby. Ms. Pung is located in the Diploma Center, room N105. Come during break, after school, or passing times, and occasionally during lunch. Just plan accordingly so you're not tardy to class. Help out our sparrow, Fabby, any way you can. A donation box is located outside the front office as well to donate. Check with your advisor to see how you can help our amazing Sparrow Fabby. This next announcement is for all students, so please listen up. Starting tomorrow, PHS will be instituting a new attendance policy for all tardy students. All students who are tardy, either excused or unexcused, will now be checking in with Mr. Akil at the attendance window. Mr. Akil will be assigning students either a green pass for an excused tardy or a pink pass for an unexcused tardy. Teachers, you will still need to mark pink slips student tardies to confirm they made it back to class. Teachers, if a student shows up tardy without a green or pink pass, please send them back to Mr. Akil. All students will now be checking in with Mr. Akil 
if tardy. Even if you have a pass from a teacher, take that pass to Mr. Akil and he will excuse you. There is a big Bear Creek cleanup event for the Phoenix section of the creek located at Blue Heron Park. The cleanup will be taking place on April 22nd, 9 to 12 p.m. a.m. Excuse. Before prom, go do some great community service and clean up Big Bear Creek. Take a Sparrow fundraiser form and you will also help out our Sparrow Fabby at the same time. This is a great opportunity for community service and to help out our Sparrow. For more information on the Big Bear Creek cleanup event this Saturday, see Mr. Shunk, Mrs. Green, or Mr. Gullo for more details. Well, let's turn our attention now to spring sports for the last week. Our track and field team has been putting up some impressive performances to start off this season. PHTV's own William Nathan and Dana Johnson made a segment to show off our track and field team. Let's roll it. Track and field. How well is the team doing? So in the limited time that I've been out on the track, um, I've seen a lot of great improvement from both the boys and the girls teams. Uh, the girls sprinters are really coming along. I'm excited to see what they are uh, going to do at the end of the year when it comes to districts and states. Um, the boys long distance is looking awesome as well, um, really carrying the team. We have a lot of good motiva motivators out there, a lot of good leaders. Um, so I'm just really excited about uh, this year's track season and what uh, all the kids are uh, producing out there. Next home meet is Wednesday the 26th. Be sure to come support our team. Good luck track team. Great job to start the season PHS track and field. Remember to check out that home meet everyone on April 26. Now onto their past performances from last week. The Phoenix girls team took third at the Crater Classic. This Saturday, with Sienna Bauer setting the freshman class record in triple jump, also running the second fastest time in the school history for hurdles. Sophia Tringlo ran the fifth best time ever in high hurdles. Great job, Phoenix Track and Field. In softball news, our Phoenix softball team fell in all three games against North Valley last week. This week, they will take on Mazama, including a home game at Clover Field on Thursday. Be sure to go out on Thursday to Clover, Clover Field and support our Pirates softball team. In baseball news, the Pirates baseball team won two out of the three games this past week against North Valley. Great job, Pirate baseball. They'll be taking on a Mazama this week, including a home game at Clover Field on Thursday. Be sure to go out to Clover Field on Thursday to support our Pirate baseball team. In girls golf news, the Phoenix girls golf team won their tournament at Reed Sport last Tuesday. Marcella Alvarado Powers won first place and Willow Taus won second. On Wednesday, the girls competed at Stewart Meadows and Giselle Perez Hernandez's team got first place and Bella Lopez and Madison Colbert's team were tied for third place. This Tuesday, the girls travel to Klamath Falls, and on Wednesday, they play at Quail Point. Girl, good luck, girls golf. The Alexandra Hamscom Memorial Scholarship is now available in the Future Planning Center. Any graduating three-sport female seniors of PHS who also participated in the OSAA Organized Interschool Athletics for four years, may have participated in two sports for one of the four years, will be eligible for this scholarship. This scholarship is worth $1,500. The deadline for this competition of this scholarship is May 19th. If you have any questions about this scholarship, see Lana Engel or Michelle House in the Future Planning Center. That's a wrap up for the show today. All is left is the trivia. Last week's trivia question was, when do students turn in their application for ASB positions to Miss Bryan? by, And the winner is... Madeline Blundell in Mrs. Johnson's room. Uh, congrats, you said Monday, April 24th. See Miss Road, uh, Mr. Rhodes, sorry about that, uh, to pick up your Dutch Bros gift card. This week's trivia question is, which teachers can you talk to 
p about p participating in the Big Bear Creek cleanup event and help our Sparrow Fabby at the same time. Please write your answer on a piece of paper along with your name and advisor's name and place it in the envelope on Mr. Rhodes' door. Be sure and check out our online platform, phtvnews.com. And as always, stick around for the pledge. This has been your place, your people, and your, your news. news. I was six years old, I broke my leg 